Hello and welcome to this session on Git and GitHub. Today is the third session and today we are going to learn on how to get started with Git on Windows. So we will be installing Git on Windows. We will add our project files or folders for our, to Git for tracking. Uh, we will look at some very basic Git commands and finally we will push our project to a remote repository on the cloud. Okay, so uh, let us begin and let us see the very first step is we have to check if git is already installed. So let us go to my windows and go to your command prompt and say git space hyphen hyphen version. Press enter. Now in my case because git is already installed, I can see a git version. If it is not installed, I will see something like command not found. Okay, so I will assume that in your case you are getting a uh, command not found or some error message and you do not have Git already installed. So let us see how do we install Git. So step two will be download and install Git. So you can uh, go to your browser and say Git. The very first site that we will get is gitscm.com. We can go to this particular site and here you will get the option to download Git on Windows. So just scroll down and you will see download for Windows and you will click here and you will get an exe file downloaded on your system. So I'm not doing it right now because I already have the file. Let me go to my downloads folder and show you exactly the file. So this is the git exe that will get uh, downloaded. You can double click it and run the executable. It will guide you through the installation process. Click next, leave it default, click next. And here on this window, you will get three options. The very first option is to use git from git bash only. Now what git bash is, uh, like you have this command prompt on your windows, similarly there is a command, command line utility for git which is known as git bash and the advantage of using git bash is uh, you will uh, get all the commands, uh, you can just type and auto complete your command on git bash so you do not have to type the entire command all by yourself and then there will be some uh, you know colors uh, of different types of commands so it becomes very easy and interactive to work on git bash so you can use the first thing the uh, first option the second option is it will uh, enable us to use git commands from both git bash as well as from our regular windows command prompt the only difference it will make in the environment variables is it will add a path of the uh, git cmd to our environment variables and the third option will enable us to use the unix tools as well through our, our windows command prompt the uh, most commonly used and a safe option is the second one so you can use the second option and click next uh, leave it as it is you can use the very first option here also you can use this windows default console click next here also now you can click on install and it will install git on your system i will cancel it because i already have it and once it is installed you can see this git bash uh, icon on your desktop and also on your start menu okay so this is how you can get started with git and once it is installed you can open a new instance of command prompt and say git space hyphen hyphen version and this time you should be able to see this git version so this means git is now installed and you are ready to work on git okay so uh, we have downloaded and installed Git. step 3 will be add your project to git okay now what does a project means is in very simple terms the project will be a folder where you will have have all your source code so let us uh, create a folder and assume that that is our project and let us see how we can track it and add it to git so let me create a new folder on my desktop and i say this is 
my project okay okay and now i have to add this to git so what i can do is i can open this let me resize the window so that you can exactly see what is happening okay now i have to go to command prompt or git bash and go to the location of this project one of the uh, straightforward shortcuts is you can go to this location on the folder explorer and on the uh, address bar you can say cmd press enter and it will open command prompt on the same location okay so here i will exit from here and here i can say I, I have to go to the location and then i will say git in it okay and as soon as i do this you can see there is a empty uh, not empty sorry it is a hidden dot git folder getting generated okay now this is the soul of git all the operations that we do on git will be uh, this folder will help us to all the tracking and additions to git okay so this is a hidden folder that will get added and now our git is tracking this folder all the additions changes that we do will get tracked now if you say git status so there is nothing to commit if i add something here let me add a let me add a file i am adding a text file so you can see i have created a text test file here now if i do git status now you can see this is untracked file and git is asking us to add this file to start tracking it right so now our git is checking this folder now let me show you uh, we are now using git commands from a command prompt because during installation we selected second option which enables us to use git from a normal windows command prompt or as well as from a git bash so we have already seen we can use it from a command prompt let me exit from here or let me just keep it as it is and see how can we use git bash so one of the ways is you can start git bash and then go to the location of the folder where you want to work or you can directly right click on the folder and here you will select this option okay git bash here let me just uh, start it git bash here and see it has started this git bash on this folder let me do git status here and you should be able to see the same output and see it is showing us the same output that we got on our windows right so let me just exit from my windows command and let us keep and continue using git bash so this is what exactly uh, will be very handy and you can use git bash okay so see we have added a test file let me also write down the commands so very first command was git init to initialize tracking a uh, folder and files then we had git status and now we will do a git add okay so now i will say git add and my file name test1.txt and now if i do git status and now you can see this is coming in green because now it is added but it is yet to be committed so i have to commit it right so for commit the command we use is git commit minus m this is for adding any message during commit and in the inverted commas i can give some message so i will say git
just a minute here. Yeah. I will say git. There is some lag. Let me just do it again. git commit space minus m and message edit test uh, one dot txt and enter okay now you can see it has committed if i do git status now you can see working tree is clean nothing to commit okay now let us see one thing let me uh, do some changes in this file so let me do some change in this file save it okay so i have uh, added a line change one in this file and saved it and also let me create a new file here so i will say dir symbol and let me create index.html so see i have created index.html and made some changes in test1.txt let us do git status now and see now you can see it is showing us that you have modified something in test1.txt and you have added a new file which is not yet added to git and is untracked so now we will do git add again and now we can use uh, we have to add both of these right so we can also use wildcard characters like i can say uh, star dot star which will add everything with extensions or i can simply say git add dot which will add everything which is not added so now i will say git commit minus m in the message edit index.html and modified test1.txt enter and now everything is committed to a git status and everything is clean okay so uh, this is how you can uh, add your projects or repositories or file to git okay now uh, let us also see step number five will be adding to remote repository okay uh, so uh, let us go to google and let us go to github and you have to create a free account here okay so i'm going to github website okay you can do sign up you can give your information and create the account and then you can sign in so i'm signing into my account okay and as we have seen in the earlier sessions github is a website which provides us remote repositories so we can put all our work on the cloud so that it is backed up and it also provides a visual interface so now you can start a project or create a new repository from here let me give the name repo2 you can give some description keep it public and create the repository okay and then you can copy it from here and then the command that you will be using is git remote at origin and the name or the location that we just copied of the repository okay so this is this is the command that we will be using okay so let me just copy and put it on my git git remote add origin and the location press enter okay now if you go and refresh your repository on github still it will not show anything because we have not yet pushed our repository so now we have to push it 
and the command for that will be git push minus u origin master and master is the name of the branch so this is the master branch okay and in the coming sessions we will see how to create other branches so this is the command that you have to use let me copy it and give it to my git and yes now you can see it has added uh, the repository in case you get a message to add username or password you have to give your github username or email and the password and to avoid getting that message every time you have to add your github user and uh, email to your git global properties and to do that you have to use these commands and actually this is this should be the very first thing that you should do after installing git so uh, i should put this commands here actually this should be the first thing that you can do but you can do later on as well so you will do git git config global user email and you will give the email that you used while creating your github account so in my case i can give something like automation.ua.scl at gmail.com okay and then you can also get your username that you used while creating your github account so in my case my github username is raghav automation so i'll give this okay so the advantage of this is number one is whenever you are pushing the repository you will not get that uh, box to put your username and your password every time the second thing will be whatever commit you do from here on your github it will be reflected by your name so let us go to our github repository and refresh it again and this time we should see our changes and yes you can see all the changes and all the additions we have made and also you can see this user added something right in case you do not add your username and uh, email to git it will show you some other default user so that's why you need to add your user and email okay so this is how you can give all the commands and add to your repository there are some other commands which will be helpful like git log and git help so you can do a git log it will show you the all the information whatever you have done so we have added test1.txt then we added index.html and modified this file you can do git space hyphen hyphen help and it will show you all the options and commands that you can use with git okay so uh, this is how you can get started with git on windows and there was the earlier session where we looked at getting started with git on a mac and the only difference between windows and mac will be the initial stage when you install it otherwise everything else will remain as it is because git is a program written in c and it is platform independent you can use it as it is whether you are on windows or on mac or on linux the only small difference is during the uh, installation part which we have already covered so if you are on windows still you can watch this session where i have covered almost the same things on a mac and today we have seen how to do the same things on windows hope you like it keep learning it thank you